Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra Harper, founder of Women of Culture, and I'm here with Corey Burkholder today, who is the is a career transition coach and co-founder of Vitamin R Studios. Um, and we're gonna be talking about creativity, confidence, and the Art of Empowerment workshop that is coming up on January 27th that Corey will be teaching at. Um, so I'm really excited to be speaking with Corey today. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. Thanks <laughs> for putting this together. Yeah. Um, so first, can you just tell us how you got started as a career transition coach? And um, I know you're also a painter and you teach um, Inspirality workshops. Um, so can you just tell us a little bit about your work? Sure. So some people refer to me as the career transition ninja. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've changed careers many times. So when I was a kid, I knew that I didn't want to get into the family business. I wanted to do something really exciting. So mm -hmm. I pursued um, the entertainment business. So started in... TV and movie production for Dawson's Creek. I worked um, at E! Entertainment Television for a while and then moved to New York and, and was in advertising and music business. And so I just was always chasing my passion and my dreams. Mm -hmm. And so I just transitioned into this full time being a coach and I have a lot of experience to bring. I know what it's like to not know what your next move is and to be in that place. So I really help my clients just really dream big. And I think that anything is possible when you put your mind to it. So, yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> that's awesome. And um, can you talk a little bit about your your painting and how you incorporate that maybe with your um, career, you know, coach work? Um, yeah, so I am a painter and I I've always, ever since I was a kid, I was always doing something creative. Mm. And I've had periods in my life where the creativity just kind of stopped and I was doing other things and I really missed that component. So um, I took this, this class called Painting, Paint Your Dreams oh, like six years ago or something. And so that really sparked that energy in me again. So I just started inviting people over to my house in the East Village and people just started to love it. I started to see the benefits of what people were getting from using their creativity. And most of the people that came over had no, no creative experience. I'm not an artist. And um, they would walk in nervous and stressed. And then, you know, through the creative process, they were able to just relax and dig deep and find their creativity and walk out. Or just like, I have this painting and I'm just so amazed at what I've done. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. I can speak from experience having been to one of your <laughs> Inspirality events and, um, you know, being a creative a graphic designer but still not use, not used to using creativity in that way and like how powerful it was just to like just let it go and kind of just let it flow and, and have fun with it um so um what would you say are the biggest lessons you've learned from art or painting or art in yeah. general so painting um the biggest lesson I think really is being able to take risks, um, not being tied to the outcome mm -hmm. so much. Um, I just started to use the knife. My, my fiance, he is an artist and mm -hmm. he kind of persuaded me to try this knife and I, before I was just trying to be so exact and painting the little details mm -hmm. in the water or mm -hmm. something. And I just started to use the knife and I just started to see marks that were put down that I could never have created. Mm -hmm. So it's really, yeah, it's about not being tied to the outcome and being able to take some risks. And through those risks, you really see the growth. Yeah. So with every painting that I've done in the last year has been 
a learning experience and then I take it into the next painting and I just see kind of the evolution and it's really sticking with something too, you know, having a, a daily practice of, of painting. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. It's almost meditative, I guess, in a way. Yeah, so I have, I, I, you know, I have in, in the room, my, my desk, I have my work area. And then over there I have my easel Mm. and my paints out so you know when I'm working and I need a break I'll just look at the painting and I'll just add some things here and there and go back and I'm refreshed again so yeah that's so cool <laughs> yeah. um so do you have a favorite painter or someone that really inspires you in your work yes um you know, I try not to look at too many artists because I want my own style to come out. But my, my fiance, Casey Edward Shaw, he is a painter and that's what he does for his work. Mm -hmm. And he really pushes me beyond my limitations. And he, you know, like I said, he brought the knife in. But um, I would say Kandinsky is mm -hmm. one of my favorite artists. Yeah. And um, a lot of people say that they see Van Gogh a little mm -hmm. bit of my work. Okay. I do like mm -hmm. his work. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I think, and, and a little bit of Monet. I like that. Oh, as well. okay. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting because, yeah, because you paint a lot of landscapes and things that are more realistic, but you take some inspiration as well from, I mean, Kandinsky is very like abstract. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. yeah. I'm very inspired by the places that I've traveled. So mm -hmm. all of my landscape paintings are from places that I've been to before and now I'm kind of moving into a new element where I'm not using references so much but I'm using the memories from different places and incorporating those into my painting. Oh that's so cool. <laughs> I'm excited to see how that turns out. <laughs> well the last one that I posted on Facebook you can see. It. Yeah okay I'll take a look. <laughs> um, so could you tell me in your own words about the Paint Your Wildest Dreams workshop you'll be teaching um, at the Art of Empowerment on um, January 27th? Yes, and I'm so excited to be a part of this. So thank you for inviting me in. Yeah. I, I do have to say that I love women of culture. Yay. <laughs> thank you. Not to get off topic, but just, you know, you, you bring such a, a nice group of women together that have such different backgrounds which is yeah. so refreshing and all of your events are amazing and the ones that i've been to are just so enriching thank you I'm very mm -hmm. to be a part of that um yeah so the the paint your wildest dreams any any inspirality session is all about intention so what is it in your life that you've been neglecting? What have you been putting on the back burner that's really, really important to you that you just never have time to shed attention on? And we really get clear on that in the beginning um, of what it is that you're really gonna the, dedicate this time to. So once we have that clarity, we do a few exercises around really building up that, that vision and we get the, the, the group behind your vision. So you're really saying it out loud and being heard and supported. And so this all culminates in a creative project. And so what we're going to be doing there is we're going to be working with watercolors. I love working with watercolors because they're very easy to use they're very fluid and so it kind of works with that that theme of dreams mm -hmm. and you know a lot of people like i said in the beginning um don't have a lot of experience so this is for all levels yeah. there's no experience and even painters will bring something new into their into their creativity as well so i'm really excited to be presenting it yeah, I am too. <laughs> I'm excited. I've taken one of your classes before. I'm so excited to do it again. So um, can you, I mean, how, how can participating in the workshop help women um, get in touch with their creativity and confidence? Yeah. Um, so a lot of people, you know, a lot of women, us being professionals mm -hmm. in, in, in the world, um, 
don't really take the time out to explore creativity. And that's my experience with the participants that come to me, that they're really wanting to dive into that. So it's really a place of resourcefulness and freedom. And it's a time to nurture it and utilize it to give you access to untapped wisdom. So through the process um, and through focusing on your intention, things start to come up. So when at the end we put all of the paintings up and people get to share about them and you just start to see realizations come through their paintings like oh i see this and this is kind of what that means and then the group also chimes in on what they see and so there's a lot of wisdom that comes up through the painting that they never would have seen before yeah that's so cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's that, that my kitty <laughs> um yeah i mean do you um what would you say to people that might be a little intimidated or scared of, um, I mean, even I can say like from my own experience that, um, you know, I hadn't painted before coming to your workshop, I hadn't painted um, probably in, I don't know, 15 years <laughs> since I was a kid. And, and um, you know, what, what would you say to people that are kind of like, oh God, I don't know, I'm not a painter, I'm not creative, I can't, <laughs> you know. It's the perfect place to be. Yeah. Because that's about 95% of my participants that yeah. come to me. They, it's the, exactly what you just said. Yeah. So it's just take a deep breath and yeah. just be able to trust the process. Yeah. Create a really um, safe space for people to explore their creativity, to share what, what is said in the circle, stays in the circle. Yeah. Um, and so people just really immediately trust each other yeah really the kind of environment that i create for the group yeah just come in and have fun just relax right um and let down your guard because you know your creativity has a lot of things to say to you yeah totally <laughs> Um, yeah, and I would just add that no one should feel obligated to share if they don't want to, right? But that, yeah, that's totally optional, <laughs> but obviously, like, a great opportunity to, to also connect with the group if, if you are open to sharing, <laughs> right? Yeah, and, you know, the other thing um, <clears throat> at the end is, you know, you're creating this intention, and usually it, it can be a goal or something. So I love to create inspired actions. And, um, you know, what is one thing that you can do to make this one step closer to reality? And to be able to share that with the group and ask for something that you might need. Mm. So there's the other element. It's, yes, you're, 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 you're getting clear on the, on the, on the dream, on the vision, mm -hmm. and you're able to share that, and then you're able to ask the group for something. Yeah. yeah. As well. because you never know who's in the room and who might be able to help you get there. Totally. That's a good point. <laughs> yes. um, so if you could share one truth about women and their creative natures, what would you say? One truth about the creative nature. It's in you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. I mean, it's yeah. in you. it just needs to be nurtured. Yeah. Totally. And so this, is, this is just the time. I think we're going to have like an, an hour and a half. And yeah. it's just give yourself an hour and a half for your creativity. Right. Yeah. We all deserve that. <laughs> and, I mean, it's the whole day, right? Right. So really, well, yeah, exactly. This is just like the painting part, but you have so many other elements um, to the day that's really going to explore that side. Yeah, yeah. I think um, it's such a good opportunity for all of us to kind of remember that creativity is important <laughs> in our lives and it's, it's really kind of open things up for people. So um, what else do you have coming up that other, other than January 27th and Art of Empowerment? Yes. Um, so I have a live uh, workshop coming up on January 10th. 
it is the career refresh your career so if you're feeling you know stuck or you're not happy in your current situation you want to make a change in 2018 this is the place to get started and then this is kind of the segue into my group virtual program um, Mm -hmm. called the career shift deep dive circle in process of doing one of those now and I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of results and breakthroughs and I'm really excited to get this started on January 17th. It's a very small group, six women okay. or men. Um, <laughs> it happens to be women right now. Right. Um, but yeah, just really looking to make a shift in your career to more uh, purposeful work. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that starts on January 17th. Okay, awesome. Um, Well, thank you so much for your time. And I'm so excited for our workshop together, The Art of Empowerment on January 27th. And um, if you would like to experience Corey's work with Women of Culture, um, you can get your tickets at womenofculture.org slash arts empower. And um, I can't wait to see you, Corey, then, and, and everyone else hope to see you there as well. Thank you so much, Alex. I'm so looking forward to it. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.